Okay, we're going to start with the uh, pet uh, speaking from yesterday. So let's start with number 2A. Okay, so yesterday we were speaking. Are you ready, Sok? You can't speak to other people while I'm teaching you. Yeah. You're already late. So let's not make this class any later. Okay, this girl is traveling. We're talking about the girl traveling and what she needs to pack. Okay, tell me what do you think she will pack? The bag, the toothbrush, and the brush, and the sun cream. Okay, you need to give reasons why. Because he can, she can brush her teeth and put the put the sun cream um put the sun cream on uh, her skin and her skin is not burned. Okay, anything else? The telephone. Why will you take the telephone? Because when she when she lost, she can call someone to help. Okay, anything else? A notebook and a pen. Why would you take the notebook and the pen? Because she can note some uh, the thing, uh, something great in the holiday. Okay. Why won't you take the photo frame? Because uh, the photo frame is lost. Okay, so this girl is going to spend two weeks living in a, uh, in a family in England. She's going to live with a family in England to improve her English. She has put the clothes she needs in her bag. Talk about things, <coughs> other things she will need to take and decide which is most important. Now remember, she needs to, um, she's going to, to live in England for two weeks to improve her English. So what things do you think she needs to be, to, which ones are important? Eat a, a bag, a brush, a toothbrush, and some cream, uh, and a shrub. Okay, she needs to take that to be, to, because it's important to stay clean, yes, okay. What about the CDs? Will you take the CDs? No, because no. she she don't have her house. No, she, she won't take the CDs because it's not important. It's music. She won't need to listen to music because she's going to go to learn English. So she won't need that. And a notebook with a pen. She needs the notebook because she needs to go and make notes. Yes. So let's write here. I'll write here minus. I'll write here minus six socks. I know. Okay. So sock point one, eight, one, speaking. Okay, so this is number, let me just see here, 2A. Why would you take the A to Z book, do you think? Will you take the A to Z book? Why would you take the book? I take the notebook. Maybe, yes. maybe, um, Maybe you can take this book. Um, it's like a dictionary. 
I don't know if this is a dictionary or if it's a dictionary. So a dictionary will help her to learn English better as well because she can translate then. So I think the dictionary is also important. Yeah. I think the dictionary is important as well. Okay. Yeah. Um, why do you think she needs to take the dictionary? Because when she, uh, she can learn English well. She can well. help translate. Okay. So why is she taking the dictionary? Because she can learn better. Yes, it can help her try it can help her translate the words. Should should she take the photo frame? Do you think she must take the photo frame? No. Okay, so the dictionary to help her translate and learn English better. No need for a photo frame. She she won't need the photo frame because this won't help improve her English. What about the umbrella? Do you think? No. Why not? Because uh, she, uh, because it won't have her to talk English. Okay, it's not necessary to talk about which items she must take with her. Okay, that's the instruction. So the umbrella she won't need because this won't help her take up space. Her suitcase is only, it's not that big. So the umbrella um, won't help her improve her English and it would take up, take up, Unnecessary space. What about the notebook? Do you think she must take the notebook? Uh, yes. Why? Because she can note everything in her tree. I think she must take the, put us up here. I think she must take the notebook, the notebook. Um, she should take the notebook because it will, it could help her make notes when she, learns English. She should take the notebook because it could help her make notes. When, when she makes notes, she will read. let's say it like that. She should take the notebook to make notes and to remember. Um, and to remember when learning English. You should take the notebook to make notes and to remember when learning English. Um, okay, telephone, do you think she must take her telephone? Mm, yes. Why? She should take a telephone to keep in contact with her parents or friends. And she huh? and the telephone have the map map and she can look at 
Look at it to go. Okay, dictionary to help her translate and learn English better. She won't need the photo frame because this won't help improve. She will, the umbrella won't help her improve her English and it could take up an extra space. She should take the notebook. So we are saying she must take the dictionary, the notebook, the telephone and her and that. And she doesn't have to take the CDs, the photo frame and the umbrella. Why must she take her bathroom bag? She must take her toiletries. Why must she take toiletries? Why must she take that? Yes. She must take her toiletries to keep clean, to brush her teeth and to wash her cell with soap so to keep clean why mustn't she take the cds mm, no because the cd won't have her to improve english improve english it will take up space Okay, I just want to close there quickly. Okay, tell me again, which items will you take and why? Mm, I will take the toiletries because it can keep clean to brush her teeth and to wash her shell with soap. I should take the telephone to keep in contact with his parents or friend. She should take the notebook to make notes and to remember while learning English. And the umbrella on the have her improve the English and it would take up necess unnecessary space. Space, not space, space. Space. She will need the photo frame to cut this one half improve her English. Personally, to help her translate and learn better. All the CD, the music CD won't help her improve English. Okay, so which items would you take? I would take the toilet chairs, the telephone, a notebook, a dictionary. A dictionary. Why would you take the dictionary? Why would you take the notebook? She should take the notebook to make notes and to remember when learning English. Okay, why would you take the telephone? She should take the telephone to keep in contact with her friends. Why would you take the, uh, the toiletries? So? Um, because she might 
soon tight for talk about toilet trees to keep clean to run hotel and to wash her shall we shop with soap okay and why would you, why won't you take the cds the music cd wouldn't have for improved english why won't you take the photo frame um she wouldn't need the photo frame because this one has beautiful image. Why won't you take the umbrella? Because the umbrella wouldn't have a beautiful image and if one big would take up unnecessary space okay tell me again now this girl is going for two weeks to england to improve her english she already packed her clothes which items here do you think she should take with for the two weeks when she wants to improve her english um I can buy for she the toy toilet tiles because it can keep to keep clean. She can and and uh, shop by shell by the shop. Keep clean with soap, okay. What else will you take? I will take the telephone because she can keep in no contact with her parents and and friends. What else will you take? I will take the dictionary because it can uh translate the work and make her English better okay what else will you take i can take a note because the notebook the notebook can write write in the holiday say again why would you take the notebook Because she can write everything about the trip. Um, not about the trip. She's learning English. She wants to improve her English. She can write notes there to help her improve her English. Okay. Why won't yes. you take the CDs? Because it can uh in no it can in, it can improve her image the cds um why won't you take the cds um because it can keep her clean and um, and keep clean her shell by shop. Is that the CDs? Keeps you clean? No. No, you're not concentrating, Sock. If you are too tired to learn, you must tell me, then we stop, okay? So I can see you are tired and you're not concentrating. Are you tired? 
No. Oh, okay. Tell me about the CDs again. Why won't you take the CDs? Uh. Because it's can because taking it's the can, CDs. Why? Because it is music. It's can I improve the uh to um improve. The evening, the English. Say again, why mustn't she take the CDs? Because uh, it can improve the English. It won't help her improve the English. Okay, why, why won't you take the photo frame? Um, I can take the photo frame because um, it's, it's lost easily. Say again, sir. Why won't you take the photo frame? I can take the, I will take the photo frame because um it is lost easily it's lost easily yes what's lost easily sir the photo frame no sir that's not what we said look what we said mm. Read this, sir. What did we say? She will need a photo frame because this one has improved her English. Okay, why can't we take the umbrella? Because the umbrella has her uh, improve her image and it could take up unnecessary, unnecessary space. Okay, now let's try again. Why won't you take the photo frame? Um, because she, she, uh, because it's going to improve English. It won't help improve English. Why won't you take the umbrella? Um, The umbrella sock. Uh, because it can improve English. It can't improve her English. Why would you take the... Okay, we'll come back to this one. I don't want to bore you with this. Okay, 2A, 2B. Let's go to 2B. Okay, sock, let's have a look here. 2B. Okay, now remember, here you have to tell me what you can see in the picture. You have to tell me what you can see in the foreground and what you can see in the background. Okay. Okay, what can you see in the foreground? Foreground. In the foreground, I can see three boys uh, making the hamburger. 
Okay, and what can you see in the foreground? So you can see three boys in the kitchen making food. Okay, but tell me what can you see? Yes. What can you see, Sock? Uh, I can see feet. What can you see, Sock? I can see the. I can see the um, street. The oven. I can see the hamburger with tomato juice and the bread. Okay, and in the and what what tell me about the boys? Describe the boys. Um Okay, describe the boy. Uh, the boy is wearing a red shirt. Okay. Has, is making the sandwich. Okay. What about the boy with the orange shirt? What does he have? He has he a has, uh, a he has a knife. Can you see the knife? He has yes. a knife and he has mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. It's a widespread mayonnaise. So he's yes. going to put mayonnaise on. The boy in the middle, what does he have in his hands? This is bread. Slice of bread. The boy with the with a black shirt and blonde longish hair, he has a plate in front of him with tomato, lettuce, and a butter knife. But he's just looking. He's not doing anything. He's just looking. Look at their expressions. How do they look? Do they look happy, sad? Do they look in awe? How do they look? They look surprised. How do they look? Do you think they're hungry? Do you think they think it's, not, it's going to be yummy or delicious? Yes. Yes, okay. So let's type it. Let's do the foreground first. So we say in the foreground, there are three boys in a kitchen making a sandwich okay yes they are standing at a big or huge kitchen table the boy with the orange shirt has a butter knife and mayonnaise. I just want to see. Do you know what mayonnaise are, Sock? No. OK. 
Okay, I'm going to play it for you. Mayonnaise is a white spread that you put on bread. It's a more soury taste. Um, just want to write right here, mayonnaise. It's a dressing. It's a type of dressing that you put on your sandwich or burgers. I'm going to say here English to Vietnamese. And I want to say mayo, mayonnaise here. Mayonnaise. 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 Do you understand? Mayonnaise. Yeah. It's mayonnaise. It's mayonnaise. So they are standing at a big or huge kitchen table. The boy with the orange shirt has a butter knife and mayonnaise. The boy in the middle has a slice of bread. And the boy in the black shirt has a plate with tomato and lettuce on it. Then you can say the boys has the boys are busy making a big or tall sandwich with meat, tomato, lettuce, mayonnaise, and cheese. They look very hungry and pleased. This is only the foreground. This is not even the background. This is what we can say. You can even say more. You can even describe their hair. So in the foreground, there are three boys in the kitchen making a sandwich. They are standing at a big kitchen table. The boy with the orange shirt has a butter knife and mayonnaise. The boy in the middle has a slice of bread and the boy in the black shirt has a plate with tomato and lettuce on it in front of him, not in his hands. The boys are busy making a big or tall sandwich with meat, tomato, lettuce, mayonnaise and cheese. They look very hungry and pleased. Pleased means they are happy. Okay, we're going to practice this now. What can we see in the background? In the background, what did you say? Say. There are white cupboards. What else can you see? A white fridge. Yes. Um, a double oven. Yes. So let's just say in the background, there are white cupboards and a white fridge. There is also a double oven behind the boy with the blonde hair. Towards the end of the kitchen behind the boy in the middle is a door on that wall is a note notice board with notes on it can you see the notes on it lots of different paper Yes. Um, in the background, there are white cupboards and a white fridge, a white double fridge. There is also a double oven behind the boy with the blonde hair towards Towards the end of the kitchen, behind the boy in the middle is a door. 
on that wall is a notice board with notes on it. Okay, tell me, Sark, what can you see in the background? In the background, there are many, there are like couple, couples, um, and a wide open bridge that is also a double and in the boy with the long hair to watch the the boy in the middle is it's long. Um, there is also a double oven behind the wall with the barrier to watch the the brown hair to work the brown hair. Is a doll. On that wall is a magic board with it. With notes with on it. Notes with it. Okay, so tell me what's in the foreground. In the foreground, there are three boys in the kitchen making sandwich. They are standing at a big, huge kitchen tables. The boy with the onion shirt has a butter knife and Mayan knife. The boy in the middle has a sleeve, a bread and light. the light. In the black, Shirt with a plate with tomato and lettuce on it. It's front of him. The boy are busy making a big toast sandwich with meat, tomato, lettuce, mayonnaise, and cheese. They look very Hungry and split. Please, and in the background. And in the background, there are white cupboard and a white double fridge. There is also a double oven behind the boy with the brown hair to wash the and of the kitchen behind the boy in the middle is a door. One on that wall is a notice box with note on it. Okay, one more time and I'm going to take it, okay? Nice. Mm -hmm. In the foreground, there are three boys in the kitchen making a sandwich. Mm. They are standing at a big hill. Chicken. Huge. Huge. No, not, not chicken. Kitchen. Mm. Kitchen. Kitchen, kitchen. The boy with the um, shirt has a butter knife and my own knife. The boy is the middle has a slice, slice of bread, and the boy in. 
in the black shirt has a play with metal and electric on this. Look at the team. Um, Um, the bo the boys have been busy making a big toy sandwich with meat, tomato, lettuce, mice, mayonnaise, and cheese. They look very hungry. Uh, uh, least in the background. In the background, there are white couples and a white double fridge, and there is also a double oven behind the ball with the blonde hair to watch the end of the chicken behind the boy in the middles is a dog. On that one is a naughty bird with notes on it. Okay, do you think you're gonna remember it now? Mm, yes. Okay. Just say exactly what you see in the picture, okay? Yes. Mm. Um, in the foreground, there is three boys are making sandwich. In in the meat is a boy is wearing the red t-shirt he he is put a slice on the on the green salad um there's a boy in front of the cupboard he is wearing Bring an orange t-shirt and he, he has a big, a big of mazanay and a spoon of mazanay. Yeah. And there is a boy with, with the with the black t-shirt has a has a dish of tomatoes, salad, and the butter. He um he just only look and he didn't he don't do anything. In the background, there are many cupboard and a white, a white fridge, a double oven, oven. The door is next to the fridge and and um cupboard. In a while, there is a brown board, um, has a lot of newspaper and poster. Notes, yes. Okay, tell me again, what can you see in the foreground? We almost finished, six minutes left. Okay, stop, we have got six minutes left. Tell me again, yes. what can you see in the foreground? 
Um, in the foreground, I can see three boys are making sandwich. The boy, that's a boy wearing a red t-shirt. He is putting the slide on the sandwich. Um, there is a boy in front of the cupboard. He has a, a, a nice ma, a, a nice marzenet and a big spoon of marzenet. Mayonnaise. Okay. And, and uh, front uh, opposite the double oven is a boy who is wearing the black dishes. He has uh, the tomatoes, a dish of tomatoes, salad, and butter. They are much, much as he is just looking and he doesn't, uh, he don't make anything. And what do you see on the sandwich? I can see the tomato, mayonnaise, the slide, and salad. Okay, good. What can you see in the background? In the background, I can see the cupboard, the fridge. Uh, there is a double oven. Uh, the door next to the cupboard and the fridge. And there is a, a big brow board has on the wall has a lot of newspaper and poster. Okay, good. Okay, we've got four minutes left. Let's go up to this one again and see what the girl must take with her. The girl is going for two weeks to England to improve her English. Which items must she take with her and why? I will take the toilet, uh, to because she can brush her teeth and clean herself by swap. Okay. I will uh and the telephone. She can she, she can uh keeping the con uh concert uh con the uh Uh, the parent and friends, friends. I uh, I think she won bring a notebook because she can uh, write write something great in her holiday. Uh, I think she can bring the dictionary because it can help her to learn English better. She won't bring the dictionary or she will bring the dictionary? She will? She will bring the dictionary because it can help her uh, learn English better. Good. What about the umbrella? 
and uh, now because it can improve English. It won't help you improve, yes. Um, what about the frame? No, because it is not improved uh, about English and Good. And what about the CDs? No, because it is music. It don't improve uh, her English. Good. Well done. Okay, stop. We're going to stop here. You did a good job today, stop. Well done. I'll see you next time, okay? I'll see you soon. Bye, stop.